Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jesse. If you are new around here, I'm a K through six music teacher. And today we are talking about how to hyperlink like a boss. This is the second video in my Google series because we as teachers are all online and figuring things out, including me. And I wanted to share just a few things that I've come across that have really helped me. So if you missed the first video in this series, it was all about how to make fonts in Google way prettier, way cuter as we teachers love. And today we're gonna talk about how how to you know, add in some hyperlinks so that your students can navigate your Google Slides in a much easier way, how you can make maybe a fun interactive game. So let's get into it. Okay, so the very first thing we need to talk about is what can you hyperlink? So there is a few options, and if you hear some birds in the background, guys, just know the birds have been off the chain over here, so I apologize in advance. So the very first thing that I am going to try and hyperlink is I'm just gonna insert a text box and I'm just gonna write like click here and then I'm going to make it I don't know let's see how about like a pink and then I'm gonna center that center it again okay so I could hyperlink this another option is inserting some type of clip art so let's go over to my computer and grab some clip art that we might like where is my design clip art. Let's just clip art an animal. Uh, I want a dog. Okay. Then another option would be a shape. So just insert any type of shape you like. Let's say I want to do a circle. And let's make that one like a blue. Okay, so I have three options here of things that I could hyperlink. So let's say for example, this one. Let's start off with hyperlinking to a video or a website. So the very first thing you're gonna do is make sure it's highlighted and you're going to press link. Or you could do command K, which is a shortcut, which is really nice. This is gonna pop up and it's gonna say either slides in this presentation or paste a link. Let's say that we wanna go to some PBS kids um, PBS Kids, let's see if this goes to it. Okay, let's say the some educational game. We're gonna copy that, and then we're gonna go back, and we're gonna paste the link in, press apply, and now that link is live. Let's say, for example, that we have this dog here, and we want it to go to like the third slide where the dog is going to be and some activity is gonna happen on there. So to go to this third slide, and you don't have to have the dog there, but I'm just imagining that there would be something where the dog says something or something like that, and we wanna link it to slide three. So again, we're gonna click on the dog, we're gonna press insert or command K, and then what we're gonna do is press slides in this presentation. Then we're going to go down, and here's the thing you guys, I've noticed with something, Google has to fix this on their part, is that you run out of room. So you just have to move your clip art or whatever you're linking up and try again. So I'm going to do Command K, and then you can see it. It's kind of a bummer. you got to get into and make sure you press Apply or it will not stick, and then you can move your clip art back. And then finally, let's say that you want to link the circle maybe to a um, YouTube video. All right, how about we want this milkshake thing? So we're gonna copy it. And then again, we're gonna insert into here. Press apply and boom. Oh, hello. <laughs> okay, so now um, when you guys are not in present mode, you can look link, link to these. You have to click it and then click it again. Same thing here, to click here or again here. But it's easy in present mode to do a much better job of just like seamlessly going to things. So if you click here, it's gonna go to that website. Click here, it goes to slide three. You don't have to go back out. And then finally, we have our GoDoodle video. The next step is to talk about what if you buy something off a of teacher pay teachers and you would like to add a hyperlink or maybe you're a TPT seller uh, and you're wondering how do you add hyperlinks when everything is embedded as one image. So pretty much in every TPT product you are going to purchase to uh, 
kind of protect the clip art artists and the font artists, you want to make sure that you embed everything as one giant picture. And that just protects them and keeps it all copyrighted. So because of this, it makes it a little tricky to hyperlink things because you can't just click on the girl or you can't just click on the circle and hyperlink it. So how do you do it? You use transparent shapes. So right now, these are each clickable. And so when I go into present mode, if I press play, it's going to go to my play slide. When I press move, it's going to go to my move slide. So how you get around this is you are going to make a transparent circle and hyperlink it from there. So let's just look at this here. It's got like no circle or no, no filling. So how did I do that? I went to shape. I inserted my shape. Let's say again, I want a circle. I'm going to, and let's, you know what, actually let's hyperlink this little girl right here. So we'll make a rectangle. So we're going to make a rectangle and it's going to fill it in and cover her up. But how we go ahead and make it um, transparent is we're going to go here, transparent, make sure the line's transparent, and now you can go ahead and link from there. Next we're going to talk about application. How do you make these more interactive and just kind of seeing how I've made some of my PowerPoint slides or PowerPoint slides. How do we say that? Google Slides, um, just a little more interactive. So as you saw, all of these are linked to their certain pages, but how do you get back to the main menu? Because they are gonna go to whatever they wanna do. Let's say that they say explore. Then they're gonna go there, they're gonna do the activity, but they have to get back to that main menu. So do you need, do need to create some kind of way that it's something that they click on to go back to that main menu? And so all of these little main menu are just going back to that very first slide. Another example here is what if you want to play, like make a little game. So how you do this is we're using those hyperlink things again. We have our menu board, but we also have here to go and play the game. So they're playing a loud or quiet game. They're going to click here to listen to an example. I'm not going to play it just in case um, I'm not allowed to. I can't remember with my <laughs> my sound uh, account if I can or not. So I'm just going to go ahead and press, uh, pretend like I press play. Let's say that they say it's quiet. Let's see if they're right. Uh oh, they doesn't. It's not, so they have to click the headphones to go back. Loud. All right, they did a good job. Then they go to the next one. So how do you kind of manage all of that for it to make sense? So you're going to have the initial question, and then you're going to have the two options that it can go to. So either that's right, or uh oh, try again. And so my little girl here is linked to slide eight because that's the right answer. The little boy is the wrong answer, so it's going to go to slide nine. Eight is going to always go, or this that's right, is going to always go to ten because they got it right. They're going to the next question. If they get it wrong and they click on nine, this is always going to go back to seven because they need to try it again. So this will lead them through the correct way. You just always need these two options after each one and just link them correctly. It's a little time consuming, but it makes it really smooth and fun for them. And then just make sure that at the end, let's say the very last one and it's loud, this actually links back to the very first slide. Finally, the last thing I want to tell you guys about is so one of my uh, newest projects I've been working on is that I want to have a little assessment with this. So this is, again, I'm using hyperlinks to kind of navigate through. They have to use the C iconic um, rhythm and then like tell us what the correct rhythm is and then they play it and then they go back to the main menu and click another rock star, do the whole thing. But once they're done, what it says is rock, click on the rock and guitar last after playing all the patterns to create their own. So they create their own word chain. So right now I have linked up this guitar for them to make their own copy of a little uh, activity that I want them to do. So they're going to create their own word chain and they can actually edit and type it if they want to. And so how I did that is this. Here's the original um, example. And so I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste this link. Make sure the share settings are uh, making sure that anyone can have um, access See, I didn't even have this yet because I haven't shared this out. So anyone with the link has access. Okay, so then what you're going to do is just go over here, put it in, but at the very end, you're going to take out edit and all of that and put copy. Then you're going to uh, go ahead and copy all of that. And this is your link that will force them to make a copy of whatever assessment you'd like. 
So then you're going to go back to your little transparent circle and I'm going to bring it up or well image, I don't know if that's not circle. <laughs> and you're going to press the edit link and I already have it in here but for the sake of the video I'm going to go ahead and put it back in, press apply, and now it's going to link them to make a copy so that they can do their own assessment because if I just linked the uh, compose, not the not to force them to make a copy, they're going to all be trying to <laughs> compose on one um, file. It's going to be constantly being changed and this is your, this is your original. So you wanna make sure it goes to copy uh, so yeah, that is how you kind of some application examples for you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. That is going to wrap up this video for today. And make sure you like and subscribe if you would like to see more Google Drive videos because they are coming out. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.